Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oiz and welcome back to Project Ozone 2. In the last episode, we were working on... Oh man, this stuff. Okay, so we were working on some Batania stuff. Um, we have a system down here that is supposed to automate the runic altar. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, we have a system to automatically feed the runic altar. I forgot to change the lens, by the way. Um, we'll do that real quick, actually, because that's not too hard. Um, we just need to get another lens and add stuff to it. Um, but we have a system that will refill the mana pool. Um, that actually works. And then we have a system up here that we built um, that is designed to, well, automate the pure daisy. And it would work if it wasn't for the fact that these things are bugged. Um, so I got them to work for a little bit, and they worked with jungle wood just fine, and not uh, stone. So I have no idea. Um, I'll be honest. I I really don't want to like have to deal with this system. Uh, we could do something with like redstone signals and whatnot, and that that's a possibility, but. Oh man, I really just wish these would work. If these worked the way they were supposed to, if the if the blacklist and whitelist actually stayed in here, because um, that was the problem. So what what was going on is if I put stone in there for a whitelist or a blacklist, for example, and exit out, um, if I place some stone down, one, it's gonna make it cobblestone, and it's gonna mine it, and it just disappears from the whitelist or blacklist rather. So. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't work like it should, but if it did, it would be amazing. Um, so yeah, it worked before. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so I might mess around with this a little bit more. This isn't like that urgent to fix because, well, I'll be honest, um, we are gonna need to take some, some actual time to be able to get to the point where we're gonna need all of the, uh, the, rune, the runes and stuff. Um, I didn't even clean that up. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, anyway, so there, there's a lot of things to fix here. Um, this is fixable. I know there are systems that people have made to automate the runic altar uh, fairly compactly. Uh, one of the biggest things is I could probably uh, use like a uh, hopper with... Uh, I could probably just use a hopper, much like this. And if I just give it a short redstone tick, that would probably be enough. Um, give it a redstone signal permanently or something. I don't know. I could probably do something with the living rock to make that a little bit better. Uh, that's not the problem. There's two problems with the actual altar itself. One, uh, too many items going through. And then two, this not picking up the items before they land back on the altar and become part of the next recipe. Uh, I've had that happen a few times. I think to fix that, the biggest thing to do is just have this closer um, so it picks it up a little bit faster, but this is something that we kind of built it on screen, uh, on camera during the episode, and I will be able to, man I should be able to manage to fix it, uh, fairly easily. I just haven't yet. So, uh, let's grab a piece of slime, and if we want a lens that is potency, um... Mana Lens Potency is a Fire Rune. So I guess we'll just grab... Because what is this? That's Efficiency. We have Velocity. Uh, so if we want a Mana Lens, it's just Glass and some Mana Steel. Uh, can we just get that? That'd be nice. So there's the Mana Lens. There is all of that, and then you put these together with some slime, and you get a composite lens. Uh, and that will go pretty fast, and we'll do what I want. So um, that's that's all we need there. Uh, anyways, we're going to step away from Batania today, and we're going to look at a couple of things. So first of all, I want to show off that uh, we have six Infinity Stars. I've been working on getting plenty of compressed cobble. And we're going to use the six infinity stars in the transmutation table. Uh, I've decided to do that because these infinity ingots are going to require a ton of, we can get rid of that, uh, of the infinity catalyst. And we're not ready to do that yet. So we're going to make the transmutation table today. And that is a simple matter of one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, so we're 
pretty close. Actually, we need three different things, and we're gonna make that like right now. So, uh, one of the things we need is catalyst. Uh, I want to do a test, and I doubt that it's gonna work. I sincerely doubt it's gonna work, but I want to do a test to see if infinite ingots can be blocked and animated. Because um, if that's the case, then we're gonna have a very easy time. But if that's not the case, well, ugh, um, that's not gonna be fun. But before we can do that, we're gonna need a ton of infinity catalysts. So I'm not ready to do that. We're gonna need, well, almost 100, uh, 99 to be exact. Because uh, it's 11 catalysts per ingot. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot. And so for now, we're just gonna make the transmutation tablet, try to get through some quests and go from there. Now, one of the things I want to do is we're gonna make a crafter or rather just grab one because we have a bunch already made. Um, do we have any wind turbines? No, so we're gonna wanna make one of those or wind generator, whatever, same difference. Um, these should be relatively easy. We just need energy tablets. Um, do I not have an energy tablet? Okay, let's make one. Why do I not have one of those? Uh, am I just not seeing it? That is a real possibility and it's incredibly real. Uh, all right, so we're gonna take an energy tablet and we're gonna make a fair number of those. Okay, that should be enough. We'll put one back in here and put the rest in there. All right, so let's make a wind generator. Uh, we just need one. Uh, we're gonna need some conduits. You know what, we can probably get rid of the Lexica Batania and R1 for now because we're not gonna use those today. Uh, anyways, so let's get some conduits. And just normal Ender Energy Conduits, you know, the good stuff. Uh, and let's head off to the last millennium because I did a little thing, not much of a thing, but a little thing. So we have this system and I've been working on getting more and more of the singularities. Uh, that's where I got all the infinity stars. And I have a chest over here to give us octuple compressed cobblestone. And we've had the problem that if we put a full stack, um, it's too much EMC. Now, fun thing, and let's go to emeralds because it's something I'm gonna need a lot of. Um, fun thing is if we take the emeralds, we can take half a stack and we can keep half a stack as long as it's only half a stack at a time. So it only takes one stack of items, but if that stack of items overflows the like buffer, um, that's where we're gonna run into problems. So to circumvent that, what we're going to do is we're gonna just convert these octuple compressed cobblestone into, well, uh, the, the smaller type. So let's get something like this. And we're going to extract um, once we're ready. So all we need to do is get a recipe. We're gonna do that, apply, uh, and the output will be there. That'll be fine. And that will be more storage. So we put that there. Uh, it is going to need power, which is what the wind generator is for. We're just gonna put this right here. Um, it's a little ugly, who cares? I'd rather use that than to use a, uh, oh, to use like a Tesseract or something. So um, that is going to make septuple compressed cobblestone, which is uh, less so on the stack EMC. Uh, it's not going to overflow. So that's what we want to see. And remember the current, okay, that's fine. Uh, so this will be an insert, oops. Don't need that. Uh, let's not use our pick. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're gonna want this extract always active. This is gonna fill up. Um, and honestly, it's not gonna, eh, we should probably get some conduit speed upgrades. Uh, we also need more conduits. And what we're gonna do is we are going to basically get everything automated. So uh, conduit speed upgrades. We're gonna need just a few more of these. 
By which I mean like, I don't know, a couple stacks. Why not? I'm gonna take a few stacks of all of this stuff. And we need just 15 of these, so... Whoops. Uh, conduits. We need more item conduits. And there we go. Cool. Eh, do we want... Okay, let's let's do both. Uh, let's get half a stack and take two out. Perfect. Cool. All right, back we go. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing here is just basically feeding all of our neutronium compressors uh, through the energy condensers with, well, the cobblestone. So uh, eventually... I think what I'm going to end up doing, and let's go ahead and run it like this. So we're going to want conduits like so, uh, because we're going to break every other. And I should probably have like blocks on the bar so I can replace, because this will look nicer. So this guy is like here, and we'll just drop him down. And then we can easily send those everywhere they need to go. So that should be fine. Um, yeah, this is going to take a second to do, but uh, the idea behind it is basically we can easily get everything to go to where we want it to and never have to worry about it. So uh, yeah, that, that should be good. Um, what we could also do... Hmm, how do we want to do this? Because we might run into the issues of if we... So what I want to do is hook up something like this. Insert this on, let's say, black for the cobblestone. It's pretty dark gray. Uh, and then extract, uh, I think... Hmm. Because my original thought was, okay, we'll extract all the singularities. The singularities themselves are not particularly useful. Um, they're really only used to make the Eternal Singularity, with the exception of a handful. Um, in which case, we could probably set these guys to be active with signal or something. Uh, that could be a thing. I don't know. Uh, or we just deactivate it manually. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if we need like some singularities for redstone, for example, or we just take it out of the crafting table or whatever we want. So uh, they're not really used for anything. So what I was thinking was just send them all to one spot, for example, here. And that should be fine for now. We have plenty of conduits in here. Uh, the thing is, is the nether stars are not going to necessarily go the same place. So maybe we put like some storage. Uh, that could be something we do. We could have just a, a line of storage over here or something. But I don't know if I want to continue going this way or we could just go that way and just have this be the singularities. That might be kind of cool actually. Um, so we could put like some storage. Uh, probably won't use the big drawers but do the quarter drawers. So not the full-size drawers, but the um, two-by-two drawers. That holds eight stacks per drawer. Uh, that should be more than enough than we'll ever need. And the thing is, is I don't want to void them or anything like that. If they fill up, uh, I just we'll, we'll just forget about it. So that might be a good idea. How many things are there? There's 36 plus the nether star, so 37, I think. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 34. Um, okay, that should be fine. So, uh, we'll have to figure out some stuff to put in the other things, but we'll need some drawers. We'll need a drawer controller. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Why not? So, drawer controller. Make one of those, and then we'll duplicate it just to have some extras. By which I mean a stack of them. Uh, and then we'll want some of these. Uh, and we can EMC these as well. They're pretty cheap. Uh, in fact, let's see what kind of planks do we have. Um, 
All right, I guess we're doing jungle wood. Everything is going to be jungle wood. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, all right, let's just do this. Get a stack of these. We only need nine of them. So that should be fine. And let's head back and figure out something to do with this. So uh, if we can get the singularities kind of taken care of, um, we'll probably end up putting, let's make sure F7. Yeah, so that needs to be lit up. Uh, where is center? This is center. So this block right here is what we're going to get rid of. And then I'll probably put like an extra block or two behind uh, just so that we have a little bit of space. But you kind of get the idea with this. We're going to just run cables everywhere. Uh, and if I go grab a conduit probe, that should make things very easy. So um, this way we can just basically store all of the singularities in a singular place and never have to worry about it. Um, should be nice and easy. So what we can do is uh, if we get this set up, at least I want to get most of this set up so that we can get um, more singularities making because we're going to need a few. So we'll put this guy like so. Um, we have nine drawers, right? So let's see, one, two, three, something like this. That should work. And then we're gonna need our key as well as, uh, let's go ahead and do this side as real quick, uh, at least with the blocks. You know, it might be easier just to, to break all the blocks. Uh, all right. Uh, so the idea with all this is once we have these kind of together, um, we'll eventually get enough singularities that we can, um, what I'll probably end up doing is bringing a um, dire crafting table over here uh, so that we can work with it and make the singularities here. It'll be a little bit easier on me uh, not having to haul things back and forth. Uh, but we can much more easily like put uh, the automation up and all that kind of stuff. And this will be running kind of all the time. Something that I might end up doing, um, this is something I'm not entirely sure if I want to do yet or not, but we'll probably end up doing it, is um, making more of the octuple compressed creatures so that we can pretty easily like get uh, plenty of these singularities and I will clean this up later um, just like the rest of the base with the not only getting the uh, the glowstone the painted glowstone all together uh, but also just kind of getting everything nice and neat so let's try to get this part done And I would have been better just putting a single line. Man, this is somewhat tedious. Uh, but so was like getting all of the uh, the blocks into the condensers and all that fun stuff. So let's get this part done. Um, and then we'll head back to base, grab a conduit probe and do some other stuff with this. So uh, this will go across like so. And there we go. So let's, I guess, just hover here. Oh my gosh, we go too fast. You know, I can change that. Um, flight speed modifier, let's change that down to 100 and go down slightly. Oh my gosh, too much. It's harder to go down uh, precisely than it is to fly upwards precisely. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. All right, uh, there 
probably is a better way to do this, but whatever. I'm going to misclick everywhere and hopefully not run out of conduits. Okay, let's grab some conduits. Let's get some more stuff. And uh, the conduit probe will make everything else a lot easier. So uh, let's head back to base. And today's episode, we just kind of got to do prep work to get closer to making more stuff. Uh, that's kind of it uh, for the time being anyway. So uh, let's grab a bunch of conduit. And I also need our key and anything else I needed. I don't think so. Oh, right, Conduit Pro. Never mind, I forgot. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, once we have this set up, uh, the system will con just kind of constantly make the singularities, and that is perfectly acceptable to me. Um, I don't mind if it does that. Uh, we're going to have some things set up so that... I want to make sure this is not connected yet. Or at least not extracting yet. No, it is still on green. Okay, so we just need to get conduits placed around and get this set up. And then we're gonna make the transmutation table today uh, and probably start working on getting uh, the transmutation tablet. Uh, but that is going to take a little bit more effort than I'm willing to put in um, because we need, well, we need five infinity ingots for that. So this goes there, actually. And we'll just do this. And we'll leave that alone for now until we have everything we want. Um, actually, we can just lock it. And that should be fine. So uh, this is going to be an insert. Let's go ahead and insert it on green. And then what we can do is uh, this guy will be extract always active on green, but it has nowhere to go. Um, that's fine. We can copy and just actually, no, I never like doing it on green because of uh, the color. It's easier to see. So we can copy that and paste it to all of these guys. And that will be perfectly fine uh, because they're they're all going to go to the same place. That doesn't matter one bit. And we'll get everything set up soon enough. So this is the easy part. Luckily, uh, I've learned that you know there's thermal expansion has something similar if you're mass producing stuff with a lot of uh, machines. And by the way, the reason I have the conduits like this is because we can put facades on this entire stack and it'll just look like they're sitting on little pillars. It'll look nice, hopefully. Um, that's the plan anyway. So magenta is insert. And let's go ahead and change that. So things will try to insert there, but they can't go anywhere yet. Um, we'll see that soon enough. So uh, I believe I already have this guy insert on black. And again, uh, never keep it green because, uh, unless you absolutely need to, just so you can easily see the change. Uh, it's something I kind of figured out, picked up on. Uh, it makes sense to me anyways. Uh, if you are doing stuff that are like a little bit color coded, then yeah, I mean, go for it. But uh, if you are copying a lot of things over, make sure you do a different color or there's something that visually changes so that you can tell uh, just at a very quick glance that everything is set up properly. One of the worst things to do is to have these big systems, uh, especially with lag and stuff like that, uh, but have these big systems where something just does not copy over. So um, this should be the cool part. We have a bunch of septuple compressed cobblestone in here. And if we turn this to round robin, um, put it on black, always active. What we should start seeing is, well, it's going to be pretty, 
Oh, right, it's going to be pretty slow because it's only transferring four at a time. So what we need to do is go under here and give it some speed upgrades. Now everything should be like going off. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. <laughs> oh man, that is neat. Now, obviously some of the more expensive things are going to run out much faster. Some of the uh, less expensive things like charcoal are going to make a lot more. That's fine. Um, I'm okay with that. And then we can also just make sure that goes plenty fast and keeps this stocked up. Perfect. Now this place is going to be laggy. So I think I do want to get, let's go grab a lever. Uh, I think I do want to be able to turn it on and off uh, so that if I'm in there, we can work on stuff without having too much issue. Um, so that just requires a lever. We'll turn off. Um, yeah, I think the easiest thing to do is just turn this guy off. Uh, Redstone on to activate. Sure. Uh, and then these guys will eventually run out. Uh, but we should see they have some stacks. It's fine. And they're going to produce. So then the other thing we can do, uh, I realized that I had conduits on him. And I'm not going to use it. So let's break that conduit. Let's come down here and steal a block or three. And, oh, I still had blocks on me. Never mind. I forgot. I didn't put them away. Uh, we'll just put that back. And then we can just start transferring this stuff over. So, um, we can keep that in here. So we have iron, gold. These are the order that they go. So we're going to do them as they are. So iron, gold. Uh, let's see. Eternal. Eternal singularities. Uh, so for example, we have lapis is next. We have 10. Uh, now there's 14. Uh, then it is redstone, quartz, copper. Redstone, quartz, copper. Uh, then the last three for that row is 10 lead silver. 10 lead silver. Um, okay, that looks fine. Uh, then we can grab things like, we don't have any nether stars yet, so we'll have to wait on that. But I do believe it's nickel, shiny, and then platinum, or mana infused, signalum, lumium, endurium. Okay. So I think we're going to do it like this. Uh, signalum, lumium, endurium, and then emerald diamond charcoal emerald diamond charcoal all right so then the last one or the next row rather is envar peridot ruby sapphire okay so envar peridot ruby sapphire uh, steel, titanium, plutonium, titanium, uh, plutonium, and then cyanite and yellorium. Uh, let's just do it like that. Why not? I don't care anymore. And then we'll get the rest. Uh, electrum is, yeah, these are the last three. So we'll do something like this. And energetic alloy is probably first. Yes, dark steel, then slayer. All right. That looks good enough. And then we'll put nether stars there. So um, what we can do, hmm, can we make this where I can see fairly easily how many we have? Probably, but probably not. Uh, anyways, if we want to do this, we're gonna need two of each. So let's go grab 
Uh, one. If this ever makes... You know, we could probably just grab... Oh, it's all in here. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a nether star. Singularity. And... As you see, most of these are going to be running for quite a while. Um, but some of them won't. Anyway, there is an infinity star. Um, that will go in the top corner. Cool. So it should stack everything like it's supposed to. And we can go from there. So, at this point, we need to go grab a thing. A dire auto crafting, or dire crafting table. Um, and we'll get this set up so that we can do what we want. And we'll just take this one because uh, we're just going to make two singularities and eventually we can auto-craft them. Um, and then we could probably decide whether or not to auto-craft them, but we'll just put this here for now. So we need two of each and just place them in here. It is a shapeless crafting recipe, so it's kind of nice. Uh, that's why I want that there. All right, next row. And we don't have any more diamond singularities, so that we need to get. Uh, but this will give us the eternal singularities, and then I can make the... So let's get some diamonds. Um, but then I can make the other stuff, so... Should be relatively close. And we'll just come back to get the diamond. Um, once we are done... Um, anything else we don't have two of? We'll see when we're done. And... Cool. So this should be shapeless. We should see everything form. We should have the eternal singularity. Um, it's going to be messy, but it is shapeless, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we are missing something. Okay, this is why I typically do it. So, iron, golden, lapis. Um, there's nine. So, there's nine. We're missing something. It is shapeless, right? And then four? There's six. We're missing two. Um, okay, so it is shapeless, right? Yes, it is shapeless. Shiny. All right. Uh, let's see. Gold. Redstone. Lapis. Oh, my gosh. Uh, iron. Diamond emerald. Am I missing... Oh... Uh, Am I missing cyanite and plutonium? Those are probably two, and then... Okay, let's just see. Um, nether, copper, tin. Nether quartz, copper, tin, lead, silver. Uh, silver. Lead, uh, nickel, shiny, platinum, or mana, rather, whatever. Same difference. Shiny, mana, nickel. Uh, we don't need those. Oh, man. I missed something because I had a lag spike. Uh, signalum, lumium, and dirium. And then emerald, diamond, charcoal. Um, charcoal. Wait, did I actually miss charcoal? Uh, one, two. Yep, there we go. That's what we missed. Alright, so do we have another diamond? We do. Perfect. So there is the two eternal singularities. Apologies for that. Um, but we're going to need two currently for coming to the overworld and making the two infinity catalysts that we need. 
uh, in here. So we'll get those two, and they go right here. Cool. Um, so with that taken care of, uh, all we need to do now is get uh, two runes of sloth and two runes of lust, and we'll be done. So let's get runes. Uh, of course, I don't have either of those in there. Do I have either of them in here? Two runes of prides. I have one of lust and one of sloth, but I want to keep all of these if I can. Um, let's take out any extras. We'll keep one of each. All right, so to get sloth, we need air and autumn. And uh, we have air. We'll have to get an autumn one. And then the runes of lust is air and summer. So air is important, summer and autumn. Uh, we're just going to do this right up here. It'll be easier. Uh, let's get that out of our inventory, or at least out of the, uh, out of our, like, current, uh, use. Alright, um, this. Smack it. And then empty hand. Now make that one, uh, and then Let's see winter we can keep, this we can keep, this we can keep, okay, let's put those away. And yeah, so we'll have those taken care of, there are those two rooms, uh, next ones are air and summer, oh my gosh. Air and Summer, two mana diamonds. Uh, autumn needs to go back in here. Get out of my inventory slot so I can right click. Go. Uh, and that's, that's that. So yeah, that part wasn't too bad. Uh, we get all the rooms we need and now we should be able to make the transmutation table. So. Uh, air can go with us. Cool. Uh, with that, we have uh, sloth and lust. Transmutation table. We just got a very, very powerful item and a quest. So let's go complete that quest. Uh, it's in the kappa. Uh, let's see. We'll take the that giant compact cube. Why not? I don't really care. Doesn't really matter much to us. And the very first thing we're going to do is duplicate it. Wow, we made six of them. So we only need like two, but I'm going to keep an extra one uh, in here just in case. Uh, we can put one down and then we'll keep one in there. Uh, actually, let's grab the transmutation table. We're going to need a few of these over the course of the near future, but the first one we're going to put right back in here um, because I'm going to have to get rid of this stuff. We can start working on the transmutation tablet, which is actually not that bad of a recipe, uh, all things considered, other than uh, the draconic evolution stuff. It actually goes there. So we got this quest. Now we need to make a portable EMC table. So what what's so big? What's such a big deal about this thing. So let's put it right here. If we right click this, um, say we want to burn some conduits. We have now learned them. Now here's the thing. We don't need to have conduits in our inventory in order to pick more up. Uh, and that is why this is so powerful. Um, it is based on our player, I do believe. Uh, I could be wrong about that. But I believe it's based on the player, not like the item itself. So if we break this, um, presumably, and put it somewhere else, like say here, uh, it still knows it. So it's based on me, not the table. Uh, so what's so good about that? Well, there's a knowledge book. Um, this thing, Tome of Knowledge. 
And if we had two Chaos Catalysts, which actually, um, we might. Well, we do. Oh boy, we could make that. And that would be very powerful. Um, it would require six Infinity Stars and then just a bunch of Enchanted Books and a Transmutation Tablet. Uh, so that's the problem. But uh, making this thing, this Tome, uh, tome of Knowledge, uh, it unlocks every single Transmutation Knowledge when learned. So we burn this book uh, in the table and we get literally everything um, to our knowledge. So that is pretty powerful. Um, I think we're going to go after that very, very, very quickly. Uh, let's put those away. And we're probably not going to use the transmutation tablet all that often. Um, let's just go ahead and put it like there. It's still open. Cool. Uh, so let's take a look at this recipe. So what are we going to need? We're going to need four energy condensers. Mark two. Uh, easy enough. We are going to need um, spatial components that we're not, we don't quite have. We're going to need what? 2, 4, 8, 16 red matter blocks. So let's get a few of those. Uh, 16 ish. And they go like so, I think. Um, one away. So like this, perfect. We'll put those away. And what else we got? Um, infinity stars we'll get to later. Um, eleven steel, uh, eleven magnitude steel. Um, Mobius stable unstable. We can get those. We only need four of those. Those are easy enough. We get those quite freely. Those go in the sides. Um, miniature black holes are easy. Let's go ahead and get that, I guess. We're going to need, what, two of those? It's just another star and some ender pearl dust. Uh, I think they go here. Uh, the hard part is going to be like the qubits. We're going to need some ludicrite. Uh, four blocks of that, that is probably enough, but let's just get a little bit more. And yeah, that goes here. All right. Um, so as you can see, most of the stuff is pretty straightforward and easy. Um, we're going to need Dash. We're going to need Bedrockium. Uh, so we're going to need what? Four bedrockium large plates. Uh, that is not that bad. I believe that is just a stack of bedrockium. Uh, and I believe we make it in this. If not, uh, it'll be a little bit harder. But okay, so we do have to actually smelt it down. These are active with signal. And I think this will work, right? We'll just put that there. Um, what else we need? We need dash large plates. Uh, four of those as well. It looks like we have to cast those out. So dash. Uh, we can duplicate it. So there's a stack. And that will be next. Uh, what else? What is the other plates? Manual and large plates? Oh, that's easy. Uh, so a stack of that, right? Because it's eight each. Oh, it's only half a stack. Oops. Um, oh, well. Right, because it's, it's eight. Uh, yeah, for four, it's only... A lot less. Okay, whatever. Uh, so these will melt down. We'll get the other two here in a second. Uh, what else do we need? We need experience books. 
which is just a bunch of, how many of those do we need? We need four of them, uh, which is just a bunch of experience essence. Uh, that might actually be a little bit of a problem because we're turning the experience essence directly into experience bottles. So uh, that's something we'll have to go turn off. Uh, not that big of a deal. Let's get the dash going. Yeah, I accidentally got four extras. Oh well. Uh, so let's go turn that off real quick. And uh, most of the stuff is going to be pretty straightforward. So where is this experience seeds? No. Gosh, this is laggy. Uh, where did I put the experience stuff? Is it mobs? Maybe? No. Uh, was it the passive mobs? It's here, isn't it? Yes. So disable on redstone, disabled. So if we activate this, um, it will harvest for a little bit and I'll come back. Uh, we're gonna need what? For book five, we need eight, 16, 32, uh, 40 each. So we need 40 times four, 160. So that's actually not too bad. Um, nether seeds, what else, what else do we have here? Because, oh, dye seeds, nature seeds, water seeds. Okay, most of this stuff isn't actually getting compacted. So we can just leave this on for a little bit. I'll have to remember that though. Um, I don't want that to cause any issues. All right, cool. So we're getting close to the point of wrapping up for today. Um, a lot of this is just going to be working on getting recipes and whatnot, but let's get the plates all taken care of. So let's see, where do all this stuff go? Um, we're going to need bedrockium is here. Uh, dash is here. And then the manulin is next to the bedrock here. So um, for the most part, everything else is going to be pretty straightforward. We are going to need two, four, six, eight of the spatial. That should just take a few seconds to craft. Not really a big deal. Um, one, two, three, four. And then we just turn those into the higher tiers as we go. So uh, nothing too major there. We have uh, getting the manual in large plates. Okay, so what else? Uh, for the most part, like we have a little bit of work to do with the rest of the stuff, but the big thing is the uh, infinity binding uh, is a little bit of a pain. Do we have any of the binder spirit stuff? Uh, yes, we do. I think we only need two of these, so let's just stick with two. And they go here and here. Cool. Um, so I will tell you guys what. What we can do is uh, basically call the episode here. Uh, I'm going to work off camera for a good bit. Um, just kind of working on getting the singularities and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, we're going to need a ton of infinity ingots. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna very very heavily consider whether or not to make more of these guys so we can get more octuple compressed cobblestone going at once. Um, otherwise, I just need to leave this on for a long time. But we got the transmutation tablet table uh, working on the transmutation tablet, and after that, we don't have all that much to do. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.